Peter, I promise you, I'll do all that's humanly possible to save her. But this is a most unusual case. I've looked for viruses, parasites, and tissue damage, but I can't find anything wrong with her. I do not understand. Peter, there is no physical reason she should be in a coma. And to make matters worse, her body has begun to shut down. Doctor, please, I beg of you. Don't give up hope. I've asked Forge to see if he can create a life support system to keep your sister alive. Do you think he will succeed? Knowing Forge, he's putting the finishing touches on the device as we speak. Hey, you. Uh, don't be afraid. Would you mind talking to me a little while? You wouldn't by any chance be a mutant, would you? Sure am. I'm Jamie Madrix, a.k.a. Multiple Man. But floating here, I feel more like Lilypad Man. <laughs> Very funny. What's your mutant power? Duplicates of me are created whenever my body experiences any sort of impact. Even something as simple as snapping my fingers. Needless to say, I'd never lose in a boxing match. Why are you floating in that vat? Uh, this is a liptide bath. I'm soaking in it to regain my strength after battling the Brotherhood. Guess I kind of uh, overextended myself and lost control of my clones. So you have trouble controlling your powers too? Hey, who doesn't every once in a while? We're mutants, not machines. There's no cutoff switch that automatically gets thrown when we go past our limit. You fought the Brotherhood? Yeah, well, I had some help from Forge and Moira, but uh, yeah, I fought them. They did a lot of damage to the facility. Forge is still trying to sort things out. Bye. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks. I, uh, I'm feeling better already. A new X-Man, eh? Where does Charles find such splendid people? What can I do for you, lass? Are you Dr. Moira McTaggart? Aye, that's me. I run the Mutant Research Centre here on Muir Island. Are you a mutant? No. But my son Kevin was. The poor lad. What happened to him? I believe in his case, his mutation truly was a curse. It drove him to madness. He escaped the research center and went on a killing spree. The X-Men had no choice but to destroy him. What is this place? This is the Mutant Research Center. From here, I study mutant genetics and aid the Xavier Institute whenever and however I can. How'd you come to be involved with the X-Men? Charles and I were very good friends back in college. What's wrong with Ileana? I honestly don't know. Her body's shutting down for no apparent reason. Perhaps it has something to do with her X gene. What's an X gene? That's the gene that gives mutants their special abilities. So one little gene is the cause of all this trouble between humans and mutants? I, I suppose you could say that. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, lass.
My friend Wolverine tells me you are Magma, a recent addition to the X-Men. I am Colossus. Who are you? I am Pyotr Nikolaevich Rasputin, or simply Peter Rasputin, as my English-speaking friends call me. From your accent, I take it you're Russian. Da. There is no greater country or more beautiful land on this earth. Ah, how I love the splendor of Mother Russia. You almost sound like a poet. Me? A poet? Yet. But I do love to paint. It is a passion of mine. How were you able to hold up that regulator back at the nuclear plant? I am able to transform my body into an organic metal that grants me incredible strength, as well as the ability to withstand high temperatures. Wow, that's amazing. Perhaps, but I still enjoy my flesh and blood form. It is only then that I am truly able to sweat and put my back into my work. I'm very sorry to hear about your sister's illness. I too am sorry, but I refuse to give up on my sister. To lose Ileana would be more than I could bear. Take care, Colossus. Thank you, Allison. I know it was you, Alex. What have you gotten yourself into? Look, all I ask is that you meet me. Uh, you couldn't have picked a worse time. Scott, you really need to see this for yourself. Then you'll understand. I don't know. I need to... Hope to see you there, Scott. I've gotta go. Bye. Bye, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. If you don't mind my asking, who was that? Someone who needs a swift kick. Computer, shut down the power grids in the 3rd, 4th, and 8th sectors. Invalid. Command. Ah! I made you! I can break you, you chunk of... Uh, uh, oh, oh, hi, miss. My name's Forge. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Allison. I, I mean, I'm Magma. Nice workshop you have here. Thanks. I use it to build any new equipment Dr. McTaggart might require. You see, I have the ability to build any type of machine. That's got to be... The weirdest mutant power you've ever heard of, yes, I know. Everybody says that, until they need me to build a machine for them, that is. <laughs> Are you having trouble with your computer? <sighs> ever since the Brotherhood stormed through here, the mainframe's been acting flaky. It's constantly turning systems on and off, it won't take any of my commands. Say... Could I ask a big favor of you? Like what? Would you mind manually rebooting the Institute's supercomputer? I need it to program the life support system I built for Ileana. Rebooting a supercomputer sounds pretty technical. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I do it myself, but I have to be here when the mainframe comes online. Sure, I'd love to help out. What do I do? Go to the primary core. Once you're there, contact me over the radio and I'll walk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Okay, Forge. I found the primary core. What should I do now? Wait a second, Allison. 
I just found out I can't shut down the computer defense systems. They'll attack anything that moves in there. Maybe I should get one of the other X-Men to handle this. There's no time to waste, Forge. Ileana will die without your help. And you can't help her until this computer is working. I have to agree, Allison. Time is running out. You're very brave to do this. Nah. I'm just looking forward to a good fight. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Wolverine. Okay, Allison. Move into the room, and I'll talk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. First, you'll need to raise the bridge to get to the primary controls. There should be a control panel near the bridge. won't go up. I'll have to clear it off first. Okay. Be careful, Allison. This panel isn't doing anything, Forge. Yeah, from my monitor, it looks like the core is out of alignment. So what should I do? There are two core control stations. Find them and access the core. They should automatically align. <sighs> Good job, Allison. Now you have to find the other core control station. That's more like it. The core is in alignment. Now head back to the primary controls and access them. I've got it covered, Forge.
How's that, Forge? It worked. Great job, Allison. The computer is coming back online. You handled that like a pro. But what about Ileana? I'm already using the main computer to help her. Thanks, Allison. You probably just saved her life. <laughs>